Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Better days are coming. The day will come when it is raining, you will not even know. Oh, yes. Enjoy the process. Never pity yourself on your way to greatness. Enjoy every process. Be featured on the way so that you will have a story to tell. Let it not be that it was when everybody arrived that you came so that you will have a story too. Say so one day, whilst listening to the word of God, I was standing outside cold. And you look at your children and say, it was that diligence that brought about the blessings we have today. Hallelujah. I have learned never to be embarrassed for as long as I know I am on the path to greatness. Follow it. In the rain, the sun, in convenience and in inconvenience follow it diligently and be proud of your pursuit and sacrifices nobody wins the olympic by mistake life is intentional progress is intentional it will cost you it has never been a secret the cost dimension of life is not a secret it's a price that is obvious everyone knows that to be great there will be sacrifices there will be seasons of constraint only a fool expects results without process Lord, we thank you for what you are doing. We are proud of where you are leading us. And Lord, we ask for grace to learn to appreciate and to access the keys that will help us rise in the name of Jesus. I've been thinking about tonight's meeting. Um, I think about all the meetings, but tonight's meeting struck me because um, every once in a while, the Holy Spirit just gives me an opportunity to reminisce on all the teachings that have come. Um, and I submit to us in this house that God has granted us access to many, many teachings. This year alone, we have been exposed to several teachings. And you see, the goal of these teachings, these teachings are informations, they are revelations that we are supposed to receive, we are supposed to believe, we are supposed to engage them and then watch them produce results in our lives and lift us from one dimension to the other hallelujah the goal of revelation is the transformation that it brings so that your life becomes an epistle you become a testimony that god did not lie in that area and truly it takes a while for the truth to settle in us and produce the desired results but we must endure hearing once learning once knowing once does not get the job done we must immerse ourselves it's from the word baptizo baptism we must immerse ourselves in this truth until we are literally possessed by them and then they will produce undeniable results in our lives proverbs chapter 4 there's a song in my spirit let praises rise 
from the inside. You know the song? From the inside of me. May you delight. Very powerful song. In the inside. In the inside. Of me. Of me. Set me on fire. From the inside. From the inside. of a father and attend to no understanding we're reading down to verse 9 for I give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law verse 3 for I was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother for he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commands and leave five get wisdom get understanding although it is so volatile but forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all your getting get understanding exalt her esteem her place value on her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her verse 9 she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto thee praise the Lord I am amazed at what the wisdom of God can do in the life of an individual an organization a church a ministry I am awed while I was coming I was talking to one of the protocol the persons who was with me and I was just nodding my head and I told him I said the wisdom of God we desperately desperately need the wisdom of God you see the Bible says there is a way please listen carefully there is a way that seemeth right unto a man there is a way that culture proposes and says men walk in it there is a way that intellectualism Sophia human wisdom experience are we together now encapsulated in education science whatever it is the logic of life there is a way that it leads you there is a way that society leads you to approach life there is a way your instinct that is a derivative of the unrenewed mind leads you but the bible says listen carefully it says the end thereof are the ways of death our society is full of people guessing their ways our society is full of people hoping they are right our society is full of people imagining that they will make it 
young people fathers mothers leaders largely walking in confusion hoping that we understand what we are doing Do you know sometimes when i stand and i look at people i just feel like crying because i'm tempted to ask the question truly speaking who did this to us at what point did the confusion start are we together i have been passionate and you would have noticed that i i discovered that we have done well in this house with respect to exposing us to encounters by god's grace teachings have come teachings after teachings helping us to understand the person the ministry of the holy spirit we have seen encounters we have seen the power of god we have seen the glory of god but at the start of this year when the lord told me it was our year of triumph i took out time to take a little inventory and i found out that um, although god had helped us we were lacking grossly in the understanding of the systems of the kingdom we were doing well in terms of encounters the love for god passion prioritizing god but i knew that we needed to step up our understanding otherwise frustration will be inevitable it is painful to love god and still fail did you hear what i said it is it is justifiable to to hate to fail when you hate god and fail you say after all i'm not serious but when you love god a dear lady asked me a question day before yesterday i think and she said apostle are there good men i'm not teaching on, on men are there good men again and i said are you kidding of course they are and she said my mother was a good woman why is her life this way and it struck me again see let me tell you this you never never guess your way to greatness you never get your way to guess your way to peace the older you become it does not equate to the wiser you become there are 70 80 90 year old people remember we are conditioned environmentally that means that somebody mentored somebody who mentored somebody who mentored somebody who went to a school and submitted himself to a teacher's view who mentored somebody who later married somebody who mentored some children we our society is a chain of mentorship largely a communication of information that are unscriptural and inaccurate are we together this is a very uncomfortable truth but we have to admit it because our lives and our results show that we obviously are missing it somewhere let me challenge us a bit look at your finances you will agree with me that something is missing somewhere look at your family life married or not if you're married look at your family why the fight why the quarrel it gets worse if both of you are christians look at the children why are they unruly why are they indisciplined how about your job look at the retrogression in our lives are we together now and do you know what most people will say this is what we say i don't know what i don't know why things are not working I've taught you here and I will drum it until it enters your spirit. Nothing works by itself. Nothing works by itself. Marriage does not work by itself. Spiritual life does not work by itself. Becoming blessed and wealthy does not work by itself. Becoming employed, becoming responsible does not work by itself. Becoming a virtuous lady, becoming a responsible man does not work by itself brothers and sisters growing spiritually does not work by itself becoming transformed does not work by itself everything in life must be engaged with wisdom to produce are we together now our confusion in life is because our intentions are not our results what we desire is not what we see so we desire a particular outcome but certain other outcomes keep happening and they keep repeating themselves regardless of the strategies we are trying ask any family represented here 
they will tell you we are tired of suffering we are tired of argument we are tired of pain can't we live in peace then they hold a meeting and say let's live in peace they all agree two days later everybody has gone haywire do you know why because the issue is not counseling the issue is the bankruptcy of certain informations our unwillingness to admit that time does not give knowledge please can you just flow just play something to flow hallelujah time does not impart knowledge time never never decides anything time only reveals i can go on my knees tonight and beg every one of you listening to me here listening online we are not acting on stage this thing is not a drama we are trying to act called ministry we are talking about transforming people there there is an exact formula you have to understand this there is a programming society has programmed our minds africa has been programmed in a certain way demons have worked with informations for years and decades they have come from culture to culture from university to university from college to college from school to school they have indoctrinated men into thinking and understanding life in a particular way that is producing unfavorable outcomes listen pain will never produce change it only reveals the need for change That you are going through an unfavorable situation does not mean it will change that you are crying and say oh god will you not wipe my tears it may provoke the mercy of god but every time god wants to show you mercy he does two things he sends his word and he sends men the solution to our problems our challenges the doors we trust and hope to open are shrouded in men and information you reject men you reject truth you will die it says love me proverbs chapter 4 paraphrasing right that i will preserve you i will glorify you i will put an ornament of glory upon you please listen to me the hardest person the hardest person to ever help is the man and the woman who is resistant to change the moment an individual holds on to an old idea and old information whether theologically established philosophically established educationally established it doesn't matter what the basis is for as long as you are unwilling to open up your mind for the vetting and the probing of the spirit if per adventure the information you have carried on through your life is wrong there is nothing embarrassing about discovering that you have believed a lie you can change there is always time for a meek and a humble person who will say look i believe there has to be why am i a bad father begging and begging and 50 years we are still staying in a rented apartment i love god something is wrong why is there no favor in my life everything i lay my hands to do doesn't work listen listen this is not the issue of man of god pray for me this is the issue of submitting yourself to say i know that i am missing something because your life is producing a result it's just that it's the result you don't want if your life were not producing pain is a result failure is a result it means you are activating certain principles unknowingly limitations are results am i blessing you tonight let's not act as if god is so wicked and cannot help us and cannot change us and cannot lift us hear me your life and my life is at the mercy of our understanding of the systems of the kingdom provided we submit ourselves to understand it i give you a guarantee your light will come but for as long as we sit down and allow demons to build fortification along our wrong thinking our wrong mindset we argue and insult and move in pride especially for we the men because you see men our that sense of authority and dominion sometimes the false version of it has eaten us up the fact that we have accessed certain information for years 
does not mean it is valid a whole nation can be wrong that an information is old does not make it right it's been there but it's not right are we together our society is full of needless pain and sorrow sorrow upon sorrow there are families today that cannot live in peace they love God tongue talking some of them are even working in the vineyard of God but the systems of God that have been allocated to make for peace is not there divorce rates are soaring young people marrying the lifetime of marriages two years lovely people educated they love god once upon a time they could not sleep until they talk with themselves two years later they hate themselves what do you not know why do people fail a family of 10 people nobody ever rises beyond certain barriers we we say demons yes it is the obvious reason but not the only reason something authorized them a door was open to them most of us the demons have been casted yet our lives have not changed because there is an equation that will have to commit us commit our understanding and our participation anybody who is unwilling to listen to this has failed not will fail has failed hallelujah when I understood the systems of God my life changed do you know someone sent me a text today lamenting and languishing on a lot of things in his life you know certain monies he was hoping he can get and he said if I can just get this 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 I will have peace I said no sir no sir you can have peace now peace is a revelation Peace is a revelation. It is not the product of the arrival or departure of certain factors. Peace is a revelation. You can choose to be frustrated and wrinkle yourself to death. Our society is full of angry people whose lack of understanding has added to their age. Young people looking old. Why? Because a revelation has programmed them, even their bodies. They have wrinkled themselves 10 years ahead of their age, moving in anger and frustration. I came here tonight to challenge us God is not a magician God is not just a miracle worker God is a God of principles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and so God intervenes supernaturally to correct it a principle is a sign that things are working as designed are we together now yes every one of us seated here came from a family listen carefully came from a culture and all of our cultures have certain tenets certain understandings foundationally we were indoctrinated with those things as a template for living we have perspectives financially speaking we have perspectives maritally speaking we have perspectives even in our pursuit of godliness we have perspectives in the area of parenting we have perspectives in the area of education and orientation we have perspectives in just our sociological living relationships and most of these perspectives most of it was fabricated by men and women who did not it was not a derivative of the ministry of the holy spirit it came as a result of people carving out a a system of relationship based on their pain their hatred their frustration and let me tell you something that you are born again does not transform you automatically it is only the access point for transformation to start being born again means that you are now authorized to legally begin to engage yourself in transformation there is something that we have allowed we have introduced it like a drug in our spirits in our minds that is cancerous is producing outcomes we do not desire so you see a lot of people and they tell you this is what i want but then their lives never produce it because another system is interrupting your desire and compelling a result that is not consistent with your desire see that so every time you come for koinonia 
know this that your coming for koinonia is a bailout system god is rescuing you some of you god is single-handedly picking you out of a family of 11 people to say look if you people keep praying and doing night vigils you will do it forever the, the spiritual dimension is ready to be corrected but there is a level of partnership with the holy spirit through knowledge through understanding there is something you must engage nobody nobody is born successful even if you are born into a rich family it is not your success the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it said this book of the law shall not depart this compendium of mysteries this this the, the wisest perspective in all matters let it not depart he said but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently right he said that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein it leaves you with a promise not a suggestion it says then shall you make your way prosperous and you shall have good there is bad and wicked and foolish success there is good success look at me there is no such thing that god chose one person sam come and said you you will succeed and then chose another person and say you you will fail no way god is very just he created the systems and said anybody that wants to succeed subscribe to it in other words my being successful is not something god just chose to do last week he allocated the pathway the same way when you follow a road the government they, they build the road whoever wants to get to that destination follow it whether a child whether an adult the road does not ask you how old you are provided you are following legally says go you don't go to buy a car and they ask you how old you are no no once you can pay for it it is given to you is that true why are we failing why are things not working in our lives why are we sitting down hoping that one day god will change whereas he has decided you see if the will of god is not known to us if the will of god is not known to us we will keep praying foolish prayers and we'll keep asking as if it is god's pleasure to watch us go through pain and frustration something we do not know is responsible for these pains and these tragedies please give us jeremiah 29 and verse 11 jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you this is god speaking thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you other versions say a future and an expected end a defined end not not an end that let's just be going and we hope no 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 an expected end that means there's something god has for me joshua selman in the blueprint of prophecy he designed that i will become something whether or not i become it is not up to him he has designed it it is my cooperation with him that will determine whether i will leave the reality of prophecy there are people god designed to be millionaires as it is they have never touched one million but in the heart in the loins of prophecy is their heritage is their destiny one of the most deceptive statements in the church is if god wants me he has the power to make it it is it is using the truth to kill you are using the truth like a knife and turning it to pierce people to say if god wants it he will make it no there are many things god wants to do that is not yet done on earth it is his will that all men be saved there are men still going to hell the fact that somebody went to hell is a sign that if you don't change nothing will change because if god has people to attend to he will attend to those going to hell first before the issue of rent are we together sorry i'm sure they are working on the sound if it does go off then we are going to pray is that fine promise already gave us uh, so I, I think i've said enough for us to pray if for any reason the sound goes off just fire and pray very seriously and say lord what i've had so far you see how my life is going you lay your hands and you pray don't laugh you pray and say father 
i know i bear witness with the fact that i am confused as i'm standing now i don't know my left from my right i'm just growing older you need to give me direction and decorum hallelujah do you know marriages now are some of the most fearful things once you see two people about to get married the first thing i look is not whether they love themselves the first thing i look is whether they understand the systems of the kingdom you just carry a lady you carry a lady that you want to marry and two of you stand and we say now what is the name of what you are doing you say we love ourselves and uh, we're trusting the lord to live together that's wonderful it's a good starting point but do you understand the mysteries that have been allocated for living for the next 60 years knowing that you will get old she will get old not knowing physically speaking the things that the future holds do you understand the mysteries what if after your wedding night somebody appears and say you took my wife do you know what to do or will you cry this is what we are talking about if you get married to this wonderful lady now for instance and in the night while you are sleeping you are happy wedding night you danced all through the day and on your wedding night a stranger appears and say well in case you don't know they don't marry anyhow from this family and since you came foolishly i am here do you understand that this one is not love again this is spiritual intelligence because many of us will get up and say ah, honey i had a very bad dream let me it's not just a bad dream your life is about to be wrecked into pieces because we live in an environment that we walk through spiritual intelligence now love took you there understanding keeps you understanding keeps you brothers and sisters don't say i got born again you have watched seven people from your family the highest time they stayed in their marriages were two years what makes you think you will stay more so it, it is true love your wife but much more than that access the keys access the keys are we together what if your wife gets pregnant and you hear a report and they say the body the baby is turning anyhow and is about to kill your wife what mystery do you know that's no longer love what do you know are you hearing what i'm saying when you start building your house and someone comes the next day you come and see the blood of a goat on the demarcate it on the side of your fence you don't know the person who put it but you put it there and then they leave a letter if you add one more block you will die responsible gentleman you went to school but what are you going to do about that situation listen carefully to what i'm telling you those who are those of our parents fathers and mothers here know they they understand what i'm saying is the young people that are just laughing and joking when you rise and become responsible for your life you know that this world is a fierce place it's not a place of joke at all you see a letter written there nobody has built in this house in this family what gives you the audacity to say you want to start building a house at 27 they put that blood there as a sign be warned can you answer whoever wrote it without seeing him because the person put it and ran away can you carry the block by yourself and drop it and say because of what you said mason we are working day and night ah it's risky to not know how to respond did you hear what i said it's not just dangerous it's risky hear what i'm saying it's risky you go for a wedding and you are dancing and somebody comes to just touch you and hug you and rub all kinds of things on you and go away is there a system of immunity that answers immediately i'm not talking of prayer your life has been equipped already by default that woman touches something and as she's going back headache starts first then the leg stops working and then whatever shrine tells her you made a mistake big mistake you touch somebody who is not just a dancer on a wedding ground there is a warrior quietly seated what do you know that if because of tribalism they look at you and say we are 
relieving you from your job your wife is not working you are the only one working on account of your faith and integrity because you refuse to bribe are we together they now bring you a sack letter do you know what else to engage so you don't go hungry or will that experience begin the the start of your frustration what do you know and what do you not know this is what i want you to know on earth the days the days i, I was speaking with Jimmy's father-in-law this morning and he was telling me he said kai that during our time it uh, their time now it was a bit easier and he said during our time now uh, the world is spiritual everything i mean you have to be spiritual about everything literally literally many young people are not spiritual i know you are not spiritual because you do not know what to do brothers and sisters when you return home and you see your father beating your mother boxing her you are a stupid woman you are a witch you are a devil as one who has worked with god do you know what to do or will you stand and say let me separate them sorry and you go back to your room and say god when will you wipe our tears do you know what to engage this this is my assignment this year to to equip you to know what to do that issue of man of god pray for me wonderful but what if the man of god is sleeping because it is only the keeper of israel that doesn't sleep joshua selman sleeps and he can slumber we keep carrying heart pain and say i called you by 2 30 sir you were sleeping of course well, what is the meaning of that of course are we together there is something we do not know we allow evil to step into our families and just destroy people like chickens and we sit down and say god i think you have to do something wonderful submit your prayer request at miracle service but much more than that will you be able to rise in intelligence look at the suffering that ravages families financially and do you know the pain it happen is happening to people who love and fear god this is what makes it painful if i don't love god and i don't fear god whatever i get i have to admit it but when i love god and fear god i serve him truly i serve him faithfully and then all of a sudden nothing works lord i'm looking for transport to come to church I can't come for koinonia because there is no transport lord i'm looking for my school fees it's only twenty thousand. it can't happen lord my father is about to die i i, we, I just need five thousand for his drugs is it really the will of god to leave you in that pain who taught you is the will of god are we together we have allowed the devil to destroy our lives can i present scenarios right now and ask you what your response will be can i give all of you koinonia right now and say from all you have learned from january till now write the following exam and then i create an imaginary scene my dear we we want to buy a fan for the worship team and we leave the spiritual responsibility to you engage every key you know our own is bring us a fan based on the mysteries do you know what to do what are you going to do what is step one what is step two for many of us step one is to cry step two is to argue step three is to look on to man and and step four is to be frustrated but there are others who know what to do are we together yes some of us right now unfortunately our loved ones have gone to be with the lord like the gentleman who said his father has died the, the gentleman sharing the testimony father died mother died he had to stand in as a young man for his sister but what spiritual intelligence he blessed her because he understood that things don't just happen 
you don't just have twins just because you you are you think you're a matured man and you have a wife that the realm of the spirit controls this realm he did that like a joke came to the house of god for reinforcement the result was as desired when your result is as desired it meant the principle was correct when you have it the way you want it it means that the principle was correct light my life like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle what do you do if you get up in the morning and just feel a sharp pain are you intelligent enough to know what to engage please koinonia listen to me i want you have to learn this thing my assignment this year is to cause you to be spiritual to understand the systems of the kingdom so you know what to do the salvation of many is dependent on your wisdom the correct application you see the bible presents the wisest perspective in all matters the wisest perspective in all matters i don't trust myself outside of the word of god the bible is not an opinion to choose what to believe and choose what to refuse it's a compendium of the wisdom of god and it says get wisdom understand how to apply the keys of the kingdom correctly and you will rise up like an edifice if i get up in the morning right now and my chest starts paining me and i start coughing blood do i know what to do or is it the day i'm in the hospital quarter to die that i start saying which message do i listen to the bible says be instant in season these keys will test you do you understand the keys listen listen the bible tells us there are arrows that fly by day i'm not scaring you is the truth are we together now what gives you guarantee that on your way to travel to kaduna or abuja tomorrow the devil is not planning to kill you what if right now god should open your eyes and you see that in the realm of the spirit they have given you 24 hours to die do you know what to engage it's risky to live not knowing what to do it's riskier to make bold face and bold statements when you have not gotten that key because you will brag and talk and talk and be whipped and punished only god knows how many covens only god knows where and where they have taken my name let this guy die let him not reach august only god knows the demons that have been casted out you think they don't take back reports they ask them from whence comest thou i came from koinonia what happened this mad young man this crazy idiot called joshua selman casted us let's plan can we kill him in two weeks yes two more weeks yes they added two more weeks i'm still standing oh he's about to take a flight can we do something because they will plan no they will plan i i wish what i was i was telling you was a lie on tuesday we are going to eat down for pastor alpha's program what is the guarantee that you will not die in the, on ax, in the accident as you are going what is the guarantee that as we are not driving the car will capsize and kill me i'm coming back for sure If I die, you can say I made noise and I died. But for as long as I'm alive, no. I found it here. The wisdom of God. Jesus said, I have the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Did you hear that? Men are given the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Now, 
don't feel bad if your loved one has gone to be with the lord don't worry you are alive now the responsibility is on you you can't receive this for your family you can only intercede for them when it comes to the matters of the kingdom it's first a personal affair it must become truth and life to you they are life to those who find them koinonia they are life to those who find them we live in a fierce and a wicked society if someone one of our ladies was giving me a testimony and she said how that someone came to boggle i think to boggle their room or so and carry a laptop now that whoever that thief is has stolen and has gone sad but do you understand a system in the kingdom because you need the laptop and for some of us maybe that laptop just came it was if somebody gave it to you now you are in a straight between you need that laptop what key do i now engage you can't cry forever now that it has gone what do i do are you hearing what i'm saying i wish we had time tonight we are going to pray seriously i would have called a few people at random and would have just created imaginary life scenarios and i would have asked what you have learned so that we don't keep compounding mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries there are so many other mysteries lined up that you will be learning between now and the end of the year but the key is are you getting it is it spirit and life to you hallelujah are we together one of the mysteries that i'm trusting that the lord god of heaven will help us to conquer is this thing of, of poverty and lack hello believers hear me poverty and what say it poverty and poverty and lack is a mystery i told you poverty is a strategy by satan it's a strategy poverty is not just a state of mind it's a spiritual strategy one of the most effective arsenal of satan for making the lives of people useless we come from different backgrounds with different experiences but we can begin to make our choices and trust god to help us i'm not teaching on on poverty or prosperity tonight but um, my, my assignment tonight is to review and introduce us to the keys my heart I, I it kept burning in me since through the week and i said lord my prayer is that your people your people will get this thing that they will understand it and it will rise hallelujah what do you not know sister what are you still allowing inside your head that is authorizing the devil to make life miserable for you brother what is it that god has been trying to pound out of your life that you are refusing to let go me this is how it is so my my i must am this like that that's how we are in our culture where we come from is it working is it working be honest is it working listen one of the keys of great people is their disloyalty to any information that does not produce there's no such thing as i was born with this if it does not work dump it throw it far from you and embrace that which is capable of blessing you the scribes and the pharisees already knew the truth but because of the ethics of tradition are we together now nicodemus came to jesus by night in john chapter 3 and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god so they knew they were not in confusion but in the daytime they refused why because of the rudiments of tradition the bible says that has made the word of god of non-effect as though it were not powerful could it be that there is something this gentleman can know he's about writing his last exam if not because of the strike i'm sure maybe this week or next week he would have written his exam now and been a confirmed doctor now six seven years ago he, he probably would have been a naive gentleman just with a desire but he passed through a system 
month after month principle after principle and now after six years he's one exam to go to become a confirmed doctor and every other person called a medical doctor in the world just becomes a senior or junior colleague instantly what is the difference now whereas somebody would be convulsing eight years ago and this guy would stand confused eight years later someone will be convulsing and say it's all right it's something we can handle because something something an information your fear is a sign that you have not learned something thank you you will never be truly free from fear until knowledge bails you out fear is destroying us fear of the future fear of everything fear of death fear of living Young people are afraid. Will I ever be established with a salary of 50,000 as a graduate? When will I ever be able to build a house? It will not build you a house. What will build you a house is the understanding of the word of God. They got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their arms save them. But thou, O Lord, because thou shown a favor towards them you must understand the keys that are responsible for activating the things that we need in life hallelujah mother there is something you can know that can transform your children could it be that the rebellion from the children is a product of an approach that may be cultural but not scriptural cultural but not scriptural there are men who are taught beat the living daylight out of your wife it's a way of showing her that you are a man she does anything beat her once she will behave you have tried it infinite times it has not changed that woman may be a sincere woman under the influence of a spirit all that she may need is one encounter with the power of god and she's free and she will be one of the nicest women in the whole world now you can manage you can beat yourself There's, there was a gentleman that joined the queue after service and there were like three four five lines to him and i looked at him and i was surprised how could a spirit still be in this guy even after a very heavy service i was looking and i was seeing a spirit the guy was playing but in the realm of the spirit i was seeing so i kept quiet when the guy just came and stood close to me i said what's wrong and the guy said i'm i'm a thief i can steal anything i said ah that's it you see that that take that thief to the prison you you hang him there behind the bars and say promise and write an agreement that you will never touch anybody's biro again while he's doing that the spirit steps out and then the same human being will sign the agreement and the spirit will enter two weeks after going out something starts pushing him it's not him everybody will beat him at home and say what do i do with this child because the mystery one minute prayer how many minutes one minute prayer under the heavy anointing will bail that guy's 10 years of misery but because see let me tell you ignorance makes pain continue it prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain are we together and i just it was just a simple tap i gave him on the head and that was the end of it that wild wicked spirit because the gentleman confessed that he was willing to be free how about people that come here you see someone standing almost staggering and you say you came you you smoked something before you came to church he won't argue that's a sign that he wants to change but there is something he does not know see the house of god is truly a blessing is a place where the mysteries that are responsible for your desire are given to you that's why it matters are you seeing the reason why god loves crowd the crowds are made of people the people are made of their needs they need access to the truth to be free that's how we change society i can tell you something and i say it with all my heart and with all joy by the grace of god the marriages that will happen in this ministry will be heaven on earth listen 
it's not just prophecy alone the keys have been given some of our loved ones here who are married you see the peace and tranquility regardless of what there are some kinds of evil that cannot happen it's gone do you know why knowledge there are people here who have married different tribes the same tribe but same knowledge the same knowledge has brought them into the same kingdom culture i've said it again and again that we will all be great you believe that prophecy and that the best part is that we will all know ourselves you will see it it will start one step don't forget about what you have not gotten today line upon line you are walking you are taking that step and it's in the name of the lord and god is helping you you may not look like it but the hand of god is upon you there is a mystery that is navigating you towards the right path hallelujah christianity is not a religion christianity is a work that should be approached with the wisdom of god the word of god represents the wisdom of god what is the wisdom of god the scriptural solution to every problem on earth the scriptural approach his modus operandi his method is called his wisdom god's approach to life is his wisdom God's approach to life is his wisdom. And the Bible is full of it. Jesus himself, the epitome of wisdom, when he came upon the earth, we saw the way he approached life. The spirit of the Christ empowered several people from Genesis to Revelation and they manifested dimensions of living that were supernatural, enviable, admirable. And the Lord has said, this is our year of triumph. We are not going to triumph just through desire it will be on the strength of what we know hallelujah there is something we must know there is something i need to know to be higher than where i am my limitation in life right now is the limitation of how far i've been able to access the wisdom of god there's more i've only scratched the surface if i submit myself and i learn more i rise more because i begin to see how predictable my life can be on the strength of wisdom my journey so far is a journey of searching the wisdom of god like a man in a gold mine searching for it when you find it you rejoice because you can stand on the strength there was something i found out about the anointing there was something i found out about miracles signs and wonders it didn't just happen there was a day i found it there was a day i found something about favor it wasn't always like that it's not just time that brought favor no time just continued passing and by the mercy and the grace of god something was accessed listen there is something you can access today that can make your seven days be equivalent to the blessings of five years it's not a prayer it's the truth there is something you can find that can compress the sufferings and the hardship of men my assignment to you this year is to help you understand this and to through emphasis reiterate it again and again until it becomes your conviction if it is not your conviction you will never walk in it let me tell you the truth these things i teach were not things i started teaching this year i've started teaching it before so don't think it's because god has helped today and i say it's easy to no 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 the wisdom of god what is god's call to you tonight stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing if you are not getting it settle down something is wrong did you hear what i said stop guessing prophesy to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing no stop guessing everybody doesn't like me what do i do stop guessing there is an exact principle that is responsible for delightsomeness stop guessing why is it that everything i touch doesn't work stop guessing please say it again say it to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing inside outside online stop guessing 
it's risky to guess the moment anything is not working in my life i settle down i need to look at this something must be wrong there is something i'm not understanding it makes your journey easier than just guessing trial and error you don't have that much of time for trial and error man of god the power of god is not flowing in your life stop guessing did you hear what i said stop guessing you are not getting something you pray for somebody and say it is done he goes to another man of god just looking at him and the demon goes out stop guessing you just told the guy it is done it is not done the, the guy still has the spirit is still there are we together the person came to you for prayer you now came and say oh um, i've been suffering bad luck my whole life everything is going wrong and he said really father we thank you we ask that um, this gentleman be free he says amen now the fact that he said amen does not mean heaven said amen the pastor prayed don't say they prayed for me who prayed for you what did the person who prayed for you know what did he know while he was praying for you i can pray for this person but the efficacy of my prayer is tied to the limitation of the knowledge i know don't just say they prayed for you who prayed for you and what was what what is the the reservoir of the spiritual knowledge that was resident in the person who prayed for you it's not just that they prayed for you so you tell this guy go in the name of jesus it is done this gentleman goes and nothing happens stop guessing the person comes somewhere else other than your own place are we together and stands and someone looks at him and says hold my hand i bless you that's it this gentleman walks out before he gets home an alert has come a call has come is that guessing no sir a gentleman prays for twins over his sister comes for koinonia drops the result when he was praying the twins did not know they were praying for them but they still came out as twins is that guess remember he was not the husband of the wife he was a brother ah. if you can pray for twins and they come out twins think of what else you can determine write on paper and say after two years rent over you wrote it on paper two years later you are standing in your own house where you can set the rules and not have anyone harass you do you believe this that means there's something you can write about your job and say in the name of jesus by october i am employed gainfully employed and then you write a salary structure lord i'm trusting you 150 to 200 thousand while you are writing it those who don't know god say you are a stupid person don't mind them don't be angry they are only revealing to you what they have not been taught so don't argue you argue you have brought yourself down you write it by october you are on a job 150 thousand for what he said he's able to do are we together yes you can make up your mind and say in the name of jesus i love god but i'm not going to marry a fool i won't marry a stupid man i'm going to marry somebody that loves god loves me and is serious while you are saying it your friends will say you you better just say yes to any man that comes so the way we do this thing now go online find any photo you want click like on facebook pursue that person till he says yes and marry quietly that is their own way and they will give you one or two testimonies of those who it worked for did they tell you they are in peace now you say it and you confess and you don't just confess as a lady and stop there you now say okay i understand that life is about partnership lord what is my contribution you can't sit down not doing anything and want god to carry his son that he has refined and worked upon worked diligently upon and brought out the best in him and, and just give you god is not unjust are we together lord what do i need to do and god starts working on you materialism throw it out 
be mouthy and talking anyhow throw it out you must be of a meek and a quiet spirit you want to marry a great man this your talk talk you will tear down his business god has helped this guy before your arrival you won't come as a destroyer are you ready and so you are he's walking he's taking it out of you in two months you have you are transformed you have become such a virtuous lady you who will be running your mouth talking all kinds of things you will say if if the guy does not have this if there's no gym i will marry god has worked on you and that way he can now bring you to the person he has destined for you and you will now be a blessing the same way as a guy any lady you see ah this lady is pretty you are not doing anything you are not serious you don't know god you don't know the loss of life there's no structural establishment god is not helping you yet you are just standing and making noise the systems of god oh i want to be a great pastor and you start a church one year two years three years you are still on four members then you start criticizing and say it's not everybody that has crowd oh, keep quiet you are not getting something find out lord what what am i missing and god says one no wisdom two the level of grace there's no result three people are not being changed everybody you prayed for there's no testimony why should people come members are not idiots they will run to where god will visit them criticize them they will not stop members are not stupid in this nigeria of today oh no no people are wise you can keep running your mouth against people while people look for where their solutions are in the rain they will stand in the sun they will stand because what they are going through is, is worse than the sun so they will stand anywhere to make sure they receive please i want you to make up your mind today that anything that is not working in your life just know remember what i said stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing just calm down invite the holy spirit spirit of the living god i am not getting something i am not getting something a meek heart i am not getting something you gave me a beautiful wife now i hate her no affection for my wife again you bless me i'm about to throw my wife out of the house i don't give money nothing what is wrong spirit of the living god help me help me and then light comes dwell with them according to knowledge ah that means there's something i do not understand i think my wife is another man now the bible is bailing me out are we together yes so the next time you meet your wife and she asks you she say how was the how was the um, how was your job today and you say fine say no give me details you won't get angry you will know that that's how women are dwell with them according so you will start we went by 7 a.m uh -huh. by eight o'clock they gave us tea uh -huh. they, you are paying that price because you now understand the systems while you are paying that price what are you going to get a reward you will get a hug you will get a nice meal and you will get you a darling you see that you made adjustment or you can stand and brag and say me i'm a one word man and punish yourself and your life will not go forward how about employees that never get promoted and think it's just demons if you like pour one gallon of anointing oil in your head you are not productive when they want to downsize people they give you you came to work two months they gave you warning you are not productive sir customer relations zero friendliness at work zero on the job zero experience zero humility to learn zero initiative zero even if i'm the one who employed you you are going yes you are going that you are a member of coin you are not productive so instead of just sitting down to get angry and say my boss is a wicked man do you know how much that guy collects 1.2 and he's giving me fifty thousand. no lord i love my boss i pray for him in the name of jesus i declare he is a leader there is something he knows that is setting him above he may not be a very nice man but in the name of jesus i pray for him and i love him and you walk up to him and say sir i just want to say thank you i've been working here eight months and i appreciate your mentorship and your leadership i just brought this wine to say thank you say what what, what is it for i mean I'm, I'm paying you no 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 sir i want to thank you much more than the salary you are changing my life if there is anything that can make me improve i am ready to learn always know that you are finding a very worthy mentee 
in me thank you sir and you go out you have programmed something he will act as if he did enter him keep watching the day promotion is coming and then somebody now comes to say do you know this person is yoruba he says hey, shut up it's my company it's my job you gave him memories you showed him that you were ready to learn the moment you step out he writes your name thank god this is the person i've been looking for and then he calls you one day and gives you a very difficult task and you start saying kai my boss has been on my case for two months he's testing you he's seeing that you are the next person who should be the director of that department he you have you are earning his trust but your lack of understanding is making you interpret it as wickedness you brought your boss's name for uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, miracle service you dropped it on and not just you didn't just write his name you say oh god punish this guy frustrate the tokens of this and that whereas listen if you had understanding and wisdom you would know that that's your lifting why does he ask me to stay back when others are going and then he gives me a hard job and then he shouts at me and i apologize and he does not say sorry he's not a fool there's something he knew that made him the boss keep watching while he's acting he's taking note one day he calls you and says look um i know that it's not my character to do this but i want you to know that i am absolutely impressed i have watched you for six months all the other people are arguing around those who are insulting him and then he lifts you overnight and then you continue praying for him again will he be perfect no he will do foolish things he will do stupid things but he's still your boss one day he calls you and says look you are so smart why are you still working in this corporation i think you are smart enough to have your own company and he says look call abc and tell them i said they should help you and in three years you have become a ceo of yourself you have become colleagues brothers and sisters lack of wisdom is destroying us are we not seeing this thing our interpretation about people and life is a product of a, a bankruptcy of life we call light darkness we call darkness light are we together we call a process failure we call failure defeat we don't know how to allocate names based on wisdom we call everything everything but god is teaching us tonight that the kingdom of god has systems i came with a fire burning in my spirit tonight that if you can learn the systems of god you will laugh when others are frowning and they will ask you why are you frowning and then you say there's a light that i see that's why i'm laughing you know in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that i see only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice and there's a peace in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this peace that i have only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice you know why because you know you don't rejoice when things happen you rejoice to make them happen 
it says rejoice in the lord always so you don't rejoice just because you feel like no the holy ghost moves you you have rent you are writing trouble you are writing no child you are writing no job you are writing no wife you are writing and at the end of it you are dancing and people say ah, i've been hearing a song he said no 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 it's not it. i am dancing because this is what happens knowledge are you hearing what i'm saying now and people look at you and say ah promise won't you is it not you that i saw the landlord embarrassing you you claim you are going to church and you can't pay simple forty thousand. the moment you hear don't worry the normal thing is agitation but use intelligence in the spirit you get back and say lord i may not have forty thousand now but i have you i have peace i have joy i may go through embarrassment now but i know that the god i serve the god i serve the god i serve can arise for me they may mock you and say all kinds of things know that a mock is a sign that satan is already agitated by your success there is something he's seeing mockery is a mystery in the spirit it's a sign that your result is appearing already let me tell you hear this hear this if anybody mocks you they gave you a sign that something is already arriving i promise you know this i'm teaching you deep mysteries mockery is a mystery madam are you a man or a woman this is 10 years and you are not married Ooh, start rejoicing don't cry it's a sign that a parcel has left heaven something is coming satan can see and so he says look frustrate them men walk by their senses do something frustrate them but those who are spiritual know they get inside the room and start dancing lord you are so good Hey, you are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as a love most high. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as a love most high. Listen. And then everything starts agitating you. You go to the place of work, they are insulting you. You come back for the hazards, they are insulting you. Don't, don't cry. If you cry, you are not wise. You begin to rejoice. And you go to Satan. Satan, what did you see that is making you restless? What have you seen? What did you see about my baby that is making... Because you see... The attacks were not like that. The attacks are a reaction. Satan has lived long in this planet. He knows we walk by sight. But for those who have been able to grow spiritually, you don't find their tears. You say, Satan, if I will ever cry, it's to God, oh, it's not to you. Job! was in a state in his life when nothing was working job was on the ground sat down on the ground and his wife told him he said cause god and die job said why are you talking like one of these stupid women ha god though he slay me though he slay me are we together now job's friends came from everywhere and everybody was talking every kind of nonsense let me tell you one of the worst things that can happen to you is to sit down and allow your life to be a subject of debate from people who are bringing all kinds of useless opinions but you love god why did you have the accident but you love why <coughs> joy joy forever who has killed your joy today i show you that it's an attack over something that is arriving who has killed your joy you prayed about finances your destiny helper is about to come but the devil is wrinkling your face with trouble hey they didn't pay salary i understand i understand i wanted to eat well today now that you cannot eat god you are faithful now you be god almighty god you know be my lord you know now you 
be God. God, you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. God, you be God. God, you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. You know and destiny I can't be too mature to stop believing the word no sir it is the foolishness of men to stop believing God for anything God cannot do cannot be done anything God cannot do cannot be done no Can you just blast in tongues for one minute? Hey! Hey! Say the man and I'm a sin and in here. Later than here. Don't allow the devil to shake you. Lord of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of day, my trust is in you. In you. Oh, I put them on you. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Hey, and Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days. My trust is in you. You say my trust is in you. I say I, I put them on you. Say my trust is in you. Oh, and Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of the Everywhere in 
inside and outside and let's begin to pray in the spirit this results we must command it results are commandable those online follow us hold hands with everybody close to you any nation day or night go ahead connect in the spirit inside outside pray that I'm teaching you and I promise you your life will surprise you we're going to take some time to pray that's why I'm stopping here I just sense that grace to pray prayer point number one I insist that I must succeed lift your voice and pray don't be quiet open your mouth everything Adam called Success is my destiny. I have decided to walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back I have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turn back. Prophesy your desire. I have decided the wisdom to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. I have Turning back, no turning back. I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. 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 I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus. Follow For foolish and ignorant people to laugh at you while you walk the principles of the kingdom. Though men forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. Though men forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back.
obedience to walk the mysteries of the kingdom till they produce for me lift your voice and pray grace 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 to apply the kingdom. Grace to apply the kingdom. The mysteries of the anointing. The mysteries. To prosperity. The mysteries. For peace. For progress. For influence. Grace. 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 You need grace. Pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't think we are rounding up. We have some prayers to do. Listen, I want you to mention the areas of challenge in your life and say, Lord, what mystery, what system in the kingdom? At the results of this pain tied to reveal to me lift your voice and pray mention them don't keep quiet Lord my growth rate is slow what is the system in the kingdom that is responsible for speed I cry for revelation are you praying are you praying Lord, I love you. I've seen the anointing on my life, but my finances are dying. Living from hand to mouth, what allocation in the kingdom is responsible for that result? Lord, I love you. I enjoy a healthy prayer life. My prayer life is robust, but there are no helpers in my life. What am I missing? What am I missing? Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but, but, but he was a valiant man in war. He excelled in an area, but there was an area that was bankrupt. Show me, open my eyes. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. Keep praying. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that seeks, finds, and to him that knocks, the door shall be opened. We knock on that door. Jesus, the door, reveal to me. Don't stop praying. La paroto sope kato shekete ni kata Enka la kato sakata kata Shala parakata kakapo shokotos Epre koto soto bakata Makariata so sekete Hallelujah Hallelujah Prayer point number three Every door that opened before and then closed must open again no oh. it must open again no oh. lift your voice and cry lord wherever i missed it i asked for mercy but that door must open again you showed me favor once you must show me favor again you gave me victory once you must give me victory again pray you sent me helpers once they must appear again 
my hand has tasted prosperity once it must come back again I enjoyed speed before I cried for restoration I once was a landlord now I'm a tenant take me back oh God restore my glory restore my honor restore my glory restore my honor restore the anointing I used to carry the healing anointing once but it no longer is working restore it oh God restore the fire Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everyone. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That the grace that is responsible for compelling men to apply the kingdom until they get results, may that grace be released on you now. May that grace be released on you now. May that grace be released on you now. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every area of your life where Satan has taken an advantage of by the power that is in the name of Jesus I force restoration I force restoration beginning from tonight I declare the mysteries that will bail you out of any trouble you are in it must be revealed to you tonight in the name of Jesus and finally I pray for you I will keep praying this until I see it in your life the kind of favor you have never seen may the God I serve make it happen in your life I release upon you the ministry of the gift of man the gift of man the gift of man in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah are we together now I like you to pray we're going to speak to the six geopolitical zones stretch your hands prophetically across these zones and declare we fortify the borders of this nation lift your voice and pray we speak over the six geopolitical zones of this nation we decree and declare the reign of righteousness the reign of justice hallelujah the second stanza of the national anthem says "O god of creation it says direct our noble cause it says guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know you see the devil used a scheme over many years to erode these things that's the most powerful part of our anthem and yet you ask one of these little ones they can't even sing the national anthem talk more of the national pledge it was a positive indoctrination growing up even children that were bad that that consciousness and now it's no longer there are we together do you know that over 70 percent of the 180 million nigerians are less than 40 years that means nigeria is largely a youthful territory you see that we are concerning ourselves with the people who are this they are no matter you see death is something that no matter your pride 
it will catch up with you especially as a fallen man you see that so the problem of this nation quite honestly yes it's leadership but it's not the old people we keep talking about there is a generation 70 percent less than 40. remember when we thought that solomon oppressed the people so bad the bible lets us know that when solomon died his son rehoboam came and the people said your father oppressed us so much but the bible says he made silver like dust that means someone was paying that price and they only pleaded they said don't take away the tax just reduce it small and that young boy went to consult with wicked men and he said what my father did is nothing compared to what i would do i foresee that if we don't pray for this nation the crop of young people that are coming and the level of deprivation that is in the heart of people it's not old men that kill and maim people on the street it's young people and if those kinds of people get into government we're in trouble so it is true that we have problem with our government but the bigger problem is that if a whole generation is not mentored to see the sense in a decent life that has dignity that someone can kill a woman and go free that in their minds there is no the values of respect godliness and all of these things are not there there is there is a terrible catastrophe we must avoid are we together now yes it is terrible to have the youth of a nation not honor God any man that disrespects God is it an elder he will respect is it the laws of the land that he will respect there is a wicked spirit that wants to hijack the destiny of this nation and we are going to pray are we together now from corruption to all kinds of of wickedness you deserve something they don't give you they say you are not a yoruba person you are not a hausa person you are not Igbo. you are not this and that the pledge says i pledge to nigeria my country to be faithful we are liars because we are not doing it to be faithful loyal and honest he said to serve nigeria with all my strength now here's the part to defend her unity i want us to really pray you know many times as i move around and i see our young people i know that if god it inspires me to do more but i know that if god does not help us believe me there is trouble brewing are we together now the values that made the people today we inspire are almost lost in our nation and we have to pray for a restoration we have to pray for everything god to return we have to pray that god by his wisdom will reveal the strategy for dealing with corruption are we together tribalism ethnic sentiments and all of that we cannot allow our children imagine um i was i was watching a program i think it was day before yesterday and a particular man entered a compound and found out that his room um his yard um was his yard mate was inside he carried his child like this one that's someone else's child and threw the child inside a well they came out and saw a dead child and the man acted as if he doesn't know anything no human being you must be empowered to be that wicked no men are not supposed to be that wicked that means that there are spirits in this nation please don't confuse what is happening it's not human there are spirits and the church has a role to play our role is first and foremost to pray and then to trust god and to mentor the leaders that will rise and take over we're a church that must act this praying and saying oh god go and do something about it no we must pray number one but then we must mentor a generation and empower them with all the spiritual financial and territorial resources available to make sure that men who love god and have dignity and value for life occupy those positions 
are you ready to pray father this nation will not fail this nation must rise lift up your voice prophesy the new nigeria i truly truly believe in the new nigeria i believe with all my heart i believe that the labor of our heroes past will not be in vain i believe that a time will come like ezra there will be the rebuilding of the wall a time will come when the proverb Ichabod will not be said about our nation again in spite of the seeming decadence in spite of the seeming challenge that we have across territories lord we prophesy a new nigeria we decree and declare that the forces that attempt to destroy our youth the forces of corruption the forces of moral decadence the forces of laziness entitlement mentality the forces of irresponsibility and every antichrist activity working in this nation we challenge it in the name of jesus by your spirit oh god let the young people in this nation receive a new orientation a new orientation about the dignity of life the dignity of labor the dignity of respect the dignity of honor reorient our minds in the name of jesus pray hallelujah let's pray for all the believers who are in position of government lord the courage to be right and to stay right lift your voice and pray courage it takes courage to be right in this nation it takes courage because sometimes you will be right at the expense of your life hallelujah Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please be seated. You are welcome. This is our September miracle service holding 1st of October. I believe it's very prophetic. Amen and amen. There's a lot that God is doing. I just want to charge us very quickly and then um, I'll begin to pray for the sick. And my spirit is fired up tonight because. I know by the Holy Ghost that God is not going to rest until that which he has declared over my life and your life until it comes to pass. If you believe, say amen. Jesus gave a parable and said there was a man that went to seek help from his neighbor paraphrasing and the neighbor for a long time would not attend to him and the bible says that man kept persisting persisting and though the man would not talk to him but for his importunity he kept drumming him in other words i'm not going back the woman kept going to the judge i meant to say avenge me avenge me my adversary and then he would not listen to her the bible says he neither feared god nor man but that woman said i may not have the power to beat you but i have the power to force you to move and she demonstrated persistence and the bible says she wearied that unrighteous judge until he moved on her behalf i spoke about diligence last week and it's a very powerful key there is a way you stand and insist that lord what is mine must enter my hand i've seen it in my dreams i've seen it in my visions but lord i agree with you that it must be in my life archbishop benson idahosa said if your faith says yes god will not say no so we're here tonight among other things not just to pray for the sick alone not just to deliver the oppressed alone 
but to trust God to take away every barrier that is capable of stopping you from testifying and seeing the goodness of God in your life. Listen, the theology of oppression is very straightforward. It's very simple. God has an agenda. Completion. Satan has an agenda. His agenda is to stop whatever will make God happy. Period. His agenda is not to cause you pain. His agenda is not to make you broke. Listen, his agenda is not to make you sick. His agenda is not to make you fail. That's not Satan's agenda. His agenda is to make sure he becomes a resistance to whatever in and through your life will bring God glory. That's it. So if it takes crippling your destiny for your life to become a mockery to God, Satan will go to any length to make it happen. So if Satan makes you broke, it is not about finance. If all you are looking at is finance, you are, you are making a mistake. It's not your finances. He wants to use your life as a message to say, God, you are a liar. So his assignment is to find everything God said concerning your life that he tied his integrity to and use your life like a canvas to paint a picture because you are the highest of his creation. Are we together now? So if Satan ensures that this man and his wife don't give birth, it's not about barrenness. You see, if all you see is, oh God, when are we going to have a child? It's not about barrenness. There is something that your giving birth to a child will do to the name of the Lord within your territory. And that's what Satan is fighting. When Elizabeth was barren, it was not about her. It was about John the Baptist who will ordain Jesus, who will save the world, who will bring glory to the Father. It wasn't about Elizabeth. She was just a scapegoat because she came into the midst of prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are some of you, the devil is fighting your breakthrough because he knows that that gate and that door has never been opened in your family. And he knows you are too kind to receive the blessing of the Lord and allow your loved ones cry. So he would do anything. He has already seen your heart and he will make sure it doesn't get to your hand. I have learned from the word of God and by experience that Satan is not looking for many things. Satan is looking for anything that can give God glory. Whatever can give God glory is a threat to Satan. I think you should write that down. Anything that in and through your life can give God glory is a big threat to Satan more than you know. Your job can be a threat to Satan if it will give God glory. Your business can be a threat to Satan if it will give God glory. Your prosperity can be a threat to Satan if it would give God glory. Your having children can be a threat to Satan. And that's what he's looking for. So why should the devil allow God give you a car when he knows that with that car you will no longer come to church alone? You want to buy a bus and he had your prayer when you were vowing and said, Lord, bless me with this bus and I will make sure this bus is full every Sunday. And the devil says, oh, I had that. If you said, Lord, buy me a bus to prove to the people in my village I'm not a failure, he doesn't mind because all that doesn't bring glory to God. Let me tell you, not everything threatens Satan. I can tell you what threatens Satan. The moment he sees your heart saying, Lord, my life and anything that will pass through this life will give you glory. It may look simple, but you have said something to Satan that is more painful than praying in tongues. That my life, <sighs> Lord, bring these millions for me. And Lord, if you bring these millions for me, I have 11 siblings along my family line. That have not gone to school. And Lord I know that if you put this in my hand. I will make sure all of them go to school. And I will make sure they go to mission schools. And Satan says. Uh -huh. The school was not the issue. The mission. Mission Abi. 
and that's it an attack that you did not invite comes to your life and you'll be wondering what is happening to my business it's not the business there is an agenda you have connected your business to god's heart and satan says that's a threat remembers in the bible satan killed children he didn't wait till they grew if he killed children he will kill visions even before they manifest he doesn't have to wait till you get the first contract he doesn't have to wait till you start the church he's seeing you in the secret place praying and say lord you know i desire this healing anointing not just for myself in this entire territory the men of god are wonderful but it's just evangelism here there's no demonstration of the power of god lord i come to you if it pleases you can you grant that to my hands ah the devil sees what you are saying if you said lord anoint me because my uncle said something that i will never be a success and i need to prove to him it will not threaten the devil but the moment satan is looking for the kingdom component of your prayer the kingdom component of your communication anything you say and do if satan can find the heart of god in it he's threatened lord i thank you lord you know that is it's not like i don't like men lord I, I want to be able to to marry somebody that loves you it's my, it's always been my privilege to serve you serve you i want my children to call upon your name the devil had that one too he didn't hear lord i worship you he didn't hear lord i thank you for this day he had my children will worship you and satan says no way make sure make sure that this lady wherever her marriage is bury it to nonsense give her money give her a job because she has not made any statement about god being glorified in the job so she can have the job but the one that god will be glorified through that's the one i'm interested in are we together and then when satan hears you pray prayers like lord take my everything the devil says demons you can go i'm staying here take my everything <laughs> There is a reason why satan attacks he does not attack you because of you listen god is comforting us already because there are many of us wondering what is all this lord what is this i will see something almost getting to me what is the thing why why is satan taking my case personal there is a reason the reason is not you don't be fooled it's not you the reason is something you represent something that is of god through you satan has seen that by God's preordination, your womb is supposed to carry one of the prophets that will herald God's end time agenda. And he says, whatever, make her marry wrong or make her not get married or make her get married to somebody who has the cause of barrenness. Just do whatever you can do to clamp this lady. Oh God, my father is 71. They are still staying in a rented house lord would you open a door for me and as you do this lord you see my heart i will renovate all the churches in our village i will sponsor this up I, I will buy a bus and satan says buy a bus for nonsense renovate which church all of a sudden you find out that the business that everybody likes you suddenly your business partner starts saying i don't understand you again it's not the business partner my brother a commitment from you has touched the heart of god and it sounded an alarm to the gates of darkness you see when you when when you understand how and why satan attacks then you will know why the power of god will continue to come around your life until victory is complete hmm. one day I, I can't remember where I was driving to. Sometimes I just drive in the night alone. And sometimes I just move. And then I parked somewhere around that market side. And I was looking at someone. Just passing. And the Lord was telling me something about that guy. And the Lord was telling me, that guy going. I just saw the guy just moving. And he said, that guy, the devil has rubbished that guy. True story. And that in this guy's destiny, he was supposed to be the first preacher 
in his entire lineage. And I saw the boy moving with all these this rough and scattered boys around. And I was just looking. I said, my God, if your life does not have a message that gives God glory, you will beg Satan to come. He will run. Satan, a demon goes to a wilderness and because there's nothing in that wilderness that has God's assignment, the demon casts itself out of the wilderness back to a human being that God can use. Remember Jesus said when a spirit leaves a man, it goes to a wilderness. He didn't find anything in that wilderness that is pro-God and he left it back. He said, I want the man because God can still use him. I can tell you why Satan is threatened by everything around you. Your worship does something to him. Your commitment does something to him. When Satan comes and sees our little children hearing the word of the Lord, he says, what can I do to this family to stop them from coming for koinonia? And the easiest way is, can I cripple their finances? Because if there is no money, there's no food to eat. There's no transport. And if there's no transport, there will be argument between daddy and mommy. You see that? Wise plan. All of a sudden, you find out that something that would have worked does not work again. And he steps back and allows you to blame yourself. And while the children are suffering, they say, sorry, it's time for koinonia. I say, koinonia what? And the devil said, that's it. Mission accomplished. It was never about money. That's why a lot of people say, why is it that unbelievers who don't love God, they are getting rich. What in their life threatens Satan? It's not about, I mean, look, if you think it's about money and tea and bread and cars, no, sir. Satan was willing to give it to Jesus. He said, Jesus, why go the long route? Just bow to me. I will give you this. Meaning, if Satan, if Jesus bowed to Satan, all of a sudden, even Caesar will be dethroned. And Jesus could go and sit down. And Satan doesn't mind. Provided you are my boy. Enjoy everything. You never. The devil will never allow you. To hold the hands of God. And hold the hands of the blessing. He will say choose one. Hold the blessing and leave God. Or hold God and leave the blessing. The miracle service says you can hold both. That's why we're here tonight. Yes, sir. That you can say, I can still serve God and pay my siblings school fees because of the blessing of the Lord. I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm, yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon. You see that? Listen, you are here tonight. I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for. We are not here to waste our time. We are here to stand in agreement with God. I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives. Choose between raising a godly family or not getting married. Choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor. Hello? Choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician. Anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for. He will find you. He will haunt you. And if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom, he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life. And listen, the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God, he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage, not you. If you have headache, that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest. Satan is too wicked to just give you a headache. Satan wants to program something. You heard that, dear lady? Cancer in um, the grandmother, just like faith can be transferred. So you program it in a way 
that a young lady is just 35, 36, and all of a sudden she's feeling, what is this? Ah, mama died of cancer. Now I'm having cancer. Tomorrow another person has cancer. Those people don't need healing. They need deliverance. It looks like it's healing. Ask Jesus, woman, thou art loose first. When you are loose, then he laid hands on her. He said, now you, your body can participate. But the real thing is the bondage in the spirit. Are we together now? Yes. Anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering, you need to stand for them today. Oh. If you are the only one having it, it may just be your not understanding, your this and that, but provided you are not the only one. No. Your grandmother was raped by a stupid man. Your mother was raped by a stupid man. You, you were raped by a stupid man. Must you wait until your daughter is raped? You stand up and say, in the name of Jesus. Someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away. They paid your mother's dowry and ran away. Now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away. You stand and say, Lord, this must end. Look, let me tell you, nothing changes until men get angry enough to say, Lord, it must stop. Are we together? Yes, it must stop. How about finances? Look at me. There are some of you here, I don't mean to insult you and I don't mean to embarrass you, but let me tell you the truth. Until God does something to your hand, money will never stay in your hand i'm not talking about money you can be as intelligent as whatever i'm telling you it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing because money like a human being has a spirit a soul and a body the spirit of money is mammon or the holy spirit there has to be a controlling factor the soul of money is the the, the intellectual system that brings the exchange, the body of money is the physical thing you are holding. So if all you are holding is just the physical thing, you are a joker. There is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you. It's true. So the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the Lord and make sure that everybody remains poor. Can I tell you this? And I don't mean to insult you, but more than 60% of the people seated here, your major prayer point, corporately as a family, is, oh God, let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come. There may be other things, but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be, to be fine. There is an agenda. I've shared with you my vision. I will continue to share it. Years ago, I was praying. I think I was, uh, I can't remember what was happening. And then my, my ceiling just disappeared. I didn't see a building again. And the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature. Mighty creature. The eyes as big as the head of a man. And then it was, it looked like a dinosaur. But the tail had its own life. Meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence. And it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me. And saying, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That was the end. That was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual. If all you have is a contract, you are joking. If all you have is a shop, well done, but you are in trouble. If all you have is a good business, you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now. Estates and everything just given. No. It's not just a man that gave him. There is a spirit behind it. You need to be empowered to fail. I hope you know that when you are failing consistently, there is an anointing making that happen. An anointing is simply an empowerment. Everybody hates you. You are supposed to bless me. As soon as I come, you hate me. I now go here and I'm too late. It's not normal. When the coincidences are too accurate, there is a spirit making it happen. 
Someone calls you and says, please come. Let me give you something to pay the rent of your family. The moment that statement happens, the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call. Are you seeing that now? And he leaves the office. You arrive at the office, you find out the door is locked. He says, if the young man comes, just give him 2000 to go back. It's a lie. The man did not leave. Something happened. There is a spirit behind that operation. How many of you have gone to, to seek people over something that is so simple? Maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks, three weeks. You believe it's normal? And then sometimes a man of God may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there. He was not there. An angel kept him there. This is how this kingdom operates. Your destiny helper, the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you. But because there is no spiritual connection, my brother and my sister, you can stay 15 years. Whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks. You will go to America and return back like a thief. You will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates. But the day God decides to locate you, you will be surprised. Is God speaking to us? That's why we are here tonight. You can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body. Probably God has been telling you, look, your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy. But you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years. I will come for koinonia. You will now say next week. You will say, Kai, uh, ah, I'm feeling cold. Let me just relax. As soon as you want to travel, your sister will just say, ah, I just came on break. Let me tell you, all those acting is a lie. But there's something about the will of man. The day you stamp your feet and say, today, I name today as my day of breakthrough. The Bible said today if you hear his voice, every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again. It has to be today. Are we together? So tonight, I don't want you to sit down and waste your time. You are hearing people testify. My brothers and my sisters, I tell you by the grace of God, there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go? We're talking God here. We're not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say I've tried ah but there's a song that says Satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the Lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of October We'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. 
a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no don't, don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see i can cut what is there and pass you can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go he's going to hold you and say come back apostle has gone so the, the job has not been done my assignment by the grace of god is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way one, that's number one that's not all then my assignment is to turn you to the direction that's where prophecy is powerful and then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed i would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it would be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your result can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified 
Galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says, And they glorified God in me. Not that they glorified God on the throne. They looked at my life. They saw that God can do this. You, no father, no mother. Who gave you the job? Who did you know from the top? You are a man of God. I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher. And you say, my brother, is what God can do. If it is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. For as long as your life is ordinary, your ministry is ordinary, your business is ordinary, you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain. Let me tell you, God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results. Did you hear what I said? God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody. He does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B. God will do it and put his signature. They'll say, no, this business cannot be human. I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs. My God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly. And says, if God could move, didn't man of God pray for you in by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? That before the grace is shared, you check your phone and all of a sudden, a text that you have been waiting for for five years. Now, that's an evidence. This is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night I couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual 
through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. If you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it, if I ask this gentleman to give me water, I'm expectant. I'm not expecting a handkerchief. I'm expecting water. Anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention. A double-minded man. Let that man not think he will receive anything from God. Thank God for people falling and flying up and down. But your eyes is stayed like a flint. Lord, I left Lagos this morning and I came here. I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute... I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. 
Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. For And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two, overflow three by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart.
Alléluia. Alléluia. The Lord just showed me something like a train. You know, a speed train, not like we have it now. Just like a train, just pass like this. And I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed. Listen, we're going to pray now. And like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. I'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. He was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus let that anointing right now I shift man speed Kabarakatosha. speed to your life oh God let every delay be broken now I command the spirit of delay be broken speed I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost help that woman please help that mama there 
please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, Papa Rakoto Shegeta, Epre Kete 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 Kete. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapa Katoka Tabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions 
if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen i command every devil and every activity of sorcery to live now one two three in the name of jesus i crush satan i crush his works inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it is it possible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone praying. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone praying everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika, a ghetto Santa Ricata, a brecato Seketa, a Katoshe Kriaka, Manta Brecotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I cause it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I cause it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two Please help your neighbors. I'm only going to pass here right there. 
as soon as I come close to you, except God is not God, if there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils, go, 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 go. Kabakatoketaka. Embreketech. Let them go, go. Go now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now. Now, now, now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you, please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shaprakato shekete skaba. Embrakato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. 
let them go now total emancipation Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now. And I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shakatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive I decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house I'm not saying you're a bad person please I'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh here Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let, make way for them. Karakul zahas kanaba kato jabra ates kene hasia. Krakato zakenda sana has kalabako prakatos. The power of witchcraft. Young man. You're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now.
testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus name I'm stretching my hands why am I seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of Jesus Christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now by the blood be broken now hallelujah just two more things i'll do here whether i'm in this overflow or not i just stood here to show you that it makes no difference i know the larger congregation is here lift your hands all of you if you can just lift it as high to the heavens now i'm seeing you don't have to come out but i'm seeing keys in the spirit listen this is access to a new dimension and i'm seeing the number 44 just lift your hands you don't need to say anything father i stand as one sent those keys are locating families and locating people it may be a key that explains why things have not been working lord from the front to the back like a mighty wind whoever must receive that key receive it now receive it now receive it now in the mighty name of jesus christ let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of Jesus Emeka, who is Emeka? 
Emeka. I'm hearing a name Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka. Please quickly, please quickly. Don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYC. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire. Overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shame, reproach. Let it go now. Shame, reproach. Let it go now. Shame, reproach. Help them. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm hearing a name. Who is Gabriel? Is there someone like that? You are wearing a maroon. You are wearing like maroon kaftan. Gabriel. Maroon Kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? What is... Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You are a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. Husband and wife? Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? 
my, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends, huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So, my friend, you love God, eh? But you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? <laughs> So God is, you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful. Because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help. But it doesn't mean, imagine that I look at this lady now and say, my dear, you're a witch. No, this is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it, beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out, for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean, I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business, but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you are in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, Oh, there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands. But it doesn't mean she's bad. A good man of God will bring about that separation. And then through the transforming power of the word, now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why 
good things don't come to you. You are a very nice lady. Hold my hands. Father, hold it with both of your hands. I decree and declare. Ah! Halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest. I served, my father served and died. And Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Elori. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus. Every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, 
it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Hi. jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god her father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction I, we have we've not even prayed for the sequel my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband <clears throat> two of you came from abuja Last time you came with for som came. i can't remember you came with your oh your son was a graduate of som no we came with him oh okay so I'm a graduate I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's not sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing. You will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, 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 oh. to you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh 
I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? By Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came together, You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching, me too I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus. You go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go. Listen. 
I, can we? Our time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I'll just pray. I'll just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request, please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition. Be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. The Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps. All kinds of lumps. Multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions. In the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes. 
be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, make your way. Some of you, you get up under the anointing, you find out that the pain, there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding. Go and check yourself. The bleeding is gone. Gone completely. And I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest. It's just lifted. Gone like that. Please check yourself very quickly and come. We may not take all the testimonies, but at least let's take a few. While we are doing that, let me have all the prayer requests very quickly. God bless you. Check yourself quickly. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? The Lord is touching people. Show them where to come. Look at, look at God touching people already. Please make your way. Make your way. The power of God has touched you. Those outside, overflow one, overflow two. Clear the way for them. Just come. You can stand on the queue there. And let's have one or two testimonies. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles here? Yeah make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on, year hold on just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and I want you to make your way and then come to. Okay, go ahead, Pastor Alpha. My God, the... God is still touching people. I'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three. Overflow three. Check yourself right now and make your way. Yes, please. You go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain. She's been having the problems this last month, back but pain. she's healed now. How long come, my dear? Let's have another mic, please. Anytime we're doing this, please, technically, it should be a standard procedure. You should know what we're doing, please. So that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck Check it now. You'll be surprised to find out it's gone. Gone completely. Gone completely. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed God. I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which of them? put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna state that's where you are from your state of origin 
Is not biologically. Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Patakot. I mean, I'm from state. I don't There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free in Jesus' oh, name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. I ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises, it's a wise bargain. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two, sorry. Overflow two, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Nah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't, she's shy. <laughs> the horse, this is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of jesus you are perfected completely perfected in jesus name i take away this proverb called ikabod over your life and over your family i'm speaking to both of you now from overflow too in the name of jesus i set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they will hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. Is by the anointing the spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain. Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain is believe gone. that thing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness. In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as you prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as you prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now when she presses the place before press she it. feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God, you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened once, August, August 26th. You just slump like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, gone. sir? Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In Sometimes the two eyes go blind, other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed, he can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come, in the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back the a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ Amen. hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.